My name's Eileen, I'm the Deputy Manager here at Fairland House. I've been here two years now. Um, never had a harpist come to do sessions. In I have worked in various homes and I think it's a really good idea. Um, it's quite soothing and the residents really enjoy the, um, the sessions that we have every Thursday. It actually gets some residents up in the morning because it's an early morning session and um, they certainly enjoy the um, singing and the participation. Um, so if we could continue this it would be lovely. As a staff group we've noticed that the residents um, chat about the sessions after they've been to them and how much they enjoy it and how um, some of them have never um, experienced harp playing before so that's um, a new experience for them and even our uh, less vocal residents appear to enjoy it more and will speak about it. So. Hi Sophie and I'm a senior care assistant. As the weeks went on more and more people wanted to join in with the harp and realised that everyone was talking about it and wanted to be involved. Um, when they're finished doing the harp they go to lunch and everyone's still talking about it because it's brought back all the memories and the things that they done when they were obviously younger and all the songs that they sang. I definitely think you should do this again. Everyone has loved it and obviously they all still talk about it and has obviously asked you to come back for more. When were you in the guides? You can still remember all of that semaphore. And you're still good. Try well, they all spoke very good English, as a matter of fact. We didn't speak their language. My uncle. Now, this was the First World War, uh -huh. when things were not as mechanised as they were in the Second World War. But my uncle was awarded the Military Medal for rescuing his team of mules that pulled the big guns. Uncle Sid was... He was a sucker for animals at any time. <laughs> and he made tremendous effort to save this team of mules and was rewarded for it. But I don't suppose for a minute he was the only one. Thank you. A pigeon that loses its sense of smell will not navigate home. So we think they also smell their way home, a bit like salmon do in rivers. Size of their brain, tip of your little finger. When they're racing, their hearts will beat at 400 beats a minute. Oh my god. Good what? If your heart's beat at 400 beats a minute, you'd be dead in about 20 seconds. Because <laughs> <laughs> we die. How far do you think the train is? <laughs> um, yeah, Mercury's medal. Given to him in 1942. Shotgun, take one. Why are you just saying that? Yes, six-ish, they're saying. Oh, it's a six-ish. 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 Oh,
There are three helpful for the world wars. Yeah, they have a lot of medals. Uh, they have most of the medals. Same so like dogs. No, no, they're just circling now. How has this whole week been with Fiona and Tim? The whole week's been amazing. Like they've set, they've set this whole week up for us to learn about what has happened in the past. And if they didn't help us, we wouldn't have known any of this communication. The best thing was probably going to the castle museum, looking at all the ancient stuff, and looking at like all the guns and all the gas masks that have actually been held or worn by a soldier or a little child that was in or an evacuee in the World War. I've learned more about how they used to communicate in World Wars and the pigeons. I think throughout this project? Probably going up to the castle yesterday. Why? Because it was something to do and you're not sitting down, you learn more stuff going around doing those things. What have you learned about pigeons altogether now um, in World I've, War? I've learned how like they have the like straps on the back, how they know where their home is and everything like that. What type of communication have you learned about? Um, I've learned about like the, when they had the um, messages like in like the little things put on the pigeons' backs and going around there like that. All right. The trip was pretty fun yesterday, but then seeing the old people's home was pretty fun as well because I like I met this old woman and she's like really funny. So. What have you learned about pigeons throughout World War One? They carry messages; they were quite useful. What times? Letters, um, telegrams. What have you learned about pigeons throughout World War One? Uh, they're used for communication. They had a lot of medals. For them. What type of communication have you learned about? Uh, with flags, with pigeons. We've learned about pigeons and how they communicated in the World War One. Uh, go to the museums. Have you learned? What have you learned about pigeons? Uh, that they used to carry messages to other people and how um, they would like know their way home.
yes, she loves me, oh, loves me not. Sometimes it's hard to tell. And yet I am longing to share the lot of the beautiful Daisy Bear. Thank you. 